Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today we'll be finding out if this old computer, which you can't see at the moment, is it usable in 2020? This computer right here, this is a Dell Optiplex GX 520, which is a Pentium 4 HT system. Four gigs of RAM, Pentium 4, like I just said, 250 gig hard drive. Let's just see how this stacks up with Linux on it. Windows is notorious for like destroying these old systems. And I mean destroying as in they're really, really slow. I've got Linux installed on here, Ubuntu with a KDE interface. It's like a very minimal version of Ubuntu. But yeah, that's installed on this computer. So let's see if Linux can make this computer usable. So you can see I'm at the login screen currently. I've got the screen angled so obviously, so you can see it, although I'm gonna need to adjust the brightness. So you can see this is what the interface looks like. Very minimal, very sleek, very nice design, and very simplistic too. So I need to change the screen brightness here. So let me go to utilities for one. This is an application that lets you adjust the brightness on any monitor. Well, it's more than just the brightness, but here we go. That's better. You can see this is how KDE looks. It looks very nice and very lightweight too. We can see if I open up a window here, even with this Pentium 4 system, Windows 10 could not do this. I can move the window around. There's a bit of screen tearing just because of the internal graphics being not great. But you can see here, move this window around, it's perfectly fine. You can even see it goes transparent in the background and it still is able to render this perfectly fine. So that's definitely a nice feature about this additional Linux anyways, is that it's a really, really skimmed down version of an operating system that can run a lot of stuff. So you can see the applications I have installed on here. There aren't many because I used a very basic uh, install. I have a screen card utility archive manager da, 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 all the basic stuff and then I've installed discord and Google Chrome Google now any slowness could just be my internet you can see the Wi-Fi icon in the bottom corner is not very good <laughs> so you can see here let's just go to Google search hmm let's look at my YouTube channel why not? and there we are Here's my YouTube channel. Works perfectly fine. Now I will say with watching YouTube videos, let me just bring this speaker here and put the volume down just a little bit. This specifically, it's not good for YouTube video watching, I would say. Like if I go to even just 720, ah, not many player, dang it. I was expecting that to be a lot slower than it was. Um, oh, you can see it's automatically going to like 360p just because it knows it can't handle much. But if I put this even up to 720p just to get 60 FPS, you're not gonna get 60 FPS on a system like this. Okay, come on, hurry up. Oh my word, this is really slow. <laughs> Ooh. It sounds fine. The iPad Air 2 has gotten soft. Oh, since no, it isn't. Eight, and it's currently on. That's not the fault of the video, or at least I don't think it is. Um, <laughs> if it is, oh my word. Let me hit play again like you're not doing like yeah that's definitely not the video i think that's be yeah i have this blasted oh that's not good rewind ipad os 13 and 14 it has gotten seven major releases that's not horrible but you can see that's pretty laggy i wouldn't suggest high definition videos on here you yes this is high h this is hd even though youtube says it isn't anymore so if i do 480p videos this should handle it just fine i've been able to watch standard definition videos on here Although it's not really great anymore, 40p. Of iOS. Even then, that's not iOS. good. I think it could just be because once this disappears, major, it helps. And seven major releases that's not very iOS. good. Well, not even in 40p, this is working. Let me just crank it down to 360p just to see how much this can handle. Because I remember, for I remember watching YouTube videos on the system, at least with Windows, and it was fine. Major releases of iOS. It's still not good. Oh, well, you can see. I don't know if you can see the quality on here, but it is not good. Like, if I move the camera up just somewhat close, you can see how much. Like, you can see that very clearly. How the 70 on here and all this is just totally like crusty. You can barely make out some of these numbers. Yeah, YouTube video watching, I would say, is not. You really shouldn't be watching a YouTube video on this computer. <laughs> Unless you're really willing to go to like 240p. I'm gonna go to 144p just to see what this does because this caps it at 15 FPS anyways. The A8 processor actually does not support Even my then that's having trouble. I think this could just be a Linux thing. My word, yeah. YouTube is not a strong suit on this thing. Um, although if you were to go to like, let's say Amazon or something like that, or just some shopping, let's just go to ebay.com. 
That's, I thought it would just take, I guess autofill wasn't enabled. Well, let's say I just go to eBay, I'm not signed in, so you're not gonna see. Yeah, you can see that doesn't, that doesn't take very long to show up. And scrolling is somewhat smooth on here. It's still loading too. There you go. Scrolling's okay. Yeah, you can see right here. It's not, it's not great, but it's not like you're gonna be doing this all day. So just scrolling through, you'll be fine. Oh wait, honey. But yeah, so that's the, damn it. So you can see this works perfectly fine, like just general web browsing. I think general web browsing is fine on this computer, but uh, it's not good for other things. Um, so if I go to the, where is it, my applications, um, into the utility, no, into, there we go, the soft, the, the system section. It thinks it has two Pentium 4s here, uh, three and a half gigs of RAM, although there's actually four. There, it has the Intel 945G, which is not <laughs> not a good graphics chip at all. This is probably not gonna be a good gaming PC either. So this system I would say is usable. I think you could even just do like Google Docs. I'll test that in a little bit. But like, let's say I wanted to just do some basic stuff and just a very basic text editor with no formatting. You can see I can type in here perfectly fine. There's no problems. And even then everything's smooth. I can still move windows around very smoothly. Um, but yeah, you can see everything's still pretty smooth. All right, so it has been a while. <laughs> it's 9.57 now. Oh, my switcher. It's been a while. It's 9.57 now, and now I'm just getting back to finishing this video. <laughs> Overall, do I think that you can use a Pentium 4 system in 2020? Probably not. Now, I do think Linux does save it quite a bit. It makes the system so much faster. So. If you had to use it, I think you easily could, but it would I would definitely never recommend it. Even a Core 2 Duo would be much, much better than this system would ever be. That's about it for this video. It is kind of a quick video, mainly just because I don't really have too much time in my hands. School has been getting in the way of everything. It's been making it very difficult for me to record and upload videos. So yeah, that's fun. Otherwise, that's about it for this video, except for one thing. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, click the subscribe button down below if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, I will see you guys all later.